Ladies, put on your saddle shoes and those poodle skirts. And guys, put on those leather jackets and rev up that old Chevy. Because tonight we're going back to the fabulous 50s with the spiritual sounds of the found cats. Hi, I'm Frank Rendo, and I'll be your host here at Samantha's Little Bit of Heaven. Our musical guests tonight are the Found Cats. The Found Cats fuse rockabilly with the sound of gospel, which brings an incredibly compelling message to their music. So don't be late, grab your date, because this sock hop is about to get started. Please welcome to the stage the coolest cats in the kingdom, the Found Cats. And what you're going to see tonight is rockabilly in a whole new form because you're going to see it filled with words of the gospel and messages of hope where your faith is going to get so lifted and you're just going to really feel like you revved up that old Chevy and you went back to the 50s here a little bit of heaven so let's hear it for the fan cats the fan cats we are here tonight to do nothing but give glory and honor to God almighty and to deliver cheesy one liners just kidding um, <laughs> We're going to do a rockabilly style. The person that inspired me to play guitar initially had to have been Scotty Moore, who was Elvis's original guitar player in the 50s. 
and on into the 60s. Uh, I just thought he had a great style and I would sit and try to emulate what he was doing. So I've definitely been inspired by uh, Elvis Presley's drummer, DJ Fontana, and hear a lot of those licks from those songs in my head and always try to emulate those, those, uh, those drum licks. I was playing in a band with Pete Ludovico, the drummer of the Found Cats, in another band called Peter and the Wolves in the uh, late 90s. And he approached me after he was saved with an interesting concept to play in the Found Cats, which was a rockabilly band with a Christian theme. And when he came and said, uh, I'm saved and I want to start a band, and Jeff's in with me, that's when I found out that he was also saved. Once Pete came to know the Lord, once he had God in his life, then I knew that these, you know, this was the answer to my prayers. These were the musicians that were going to make up the band that I had hoped for and wished for and prayed for. Uh, when I was first approached to play in the Found Cats, uh, I was not the saved uh, Christian. But I knew Jeff McClary from uh, playing in bands around town, and I knew there was something about him that I really liked. There was something different about him. It was his faith that was attracted me to him. Uh, his personality. And when Pete became a Christian, they decided to do the Found Cats, they recruited me. And the fact that Tom agreed right away to come on board to play bass was no hesitation on his part whatsoever. Uh, then I knew that, that was, it was clear to me what we were supposed to do. And it just made a lot of sense, uh, just with the whole rockabilly thing and Christian music coming together and playing with guys who really want to play music that is meant to be heard to a whole new audience. It's just a really exciting thing. When I first became a Christian, I wanted to play the same style of music that we were playing in my previous bands, but with songs, you know, about the gospel. We decided that we wanted uh, an opportunity to express our Christian beliefs and our faith through the kind of music that we loved the most, which was rockabilly. And it all sort of, everybody was kind of on the same page at the same time. Uh, this, is a, this is a brand new song. It's called I Believe in Ghosts. <laughs>
We got the name the Found Cats. We had been playing in a kind of an impromptu band uh, called the Hound Cats. It was a name that Pete had come up with. Right before uh, we formed the Found Cats, we, we formed a band called the Hound Cats, which was everything but Christian rockabilly. So when Pete became a Christian, uh, one of the principals at Golly G Records found out about it. And he told me, well, the name of the band can't be the Hound Cats anymore. And when we decided to do a Christian rockabilly band, we sort of took it from that name and made it the Found Cats. Because Pete had been previously lost in his ways and was now found, God had found him, so the Found Cats. So now that we found Jesus and we're not lost anymore, but found, and it rhymes with hound, <laughs> we're now called the Found Cats. And we are cool cats. We're, we're the, the Found Cats. cats. Have we, we got, got good news for you. you. Pete and I both uh, write the songs, about half each. And like the bass player, Tommy, will write his own bass lines, and the drummer will do his own stuff. So we're kind of all responsible for the songs. But the lyrics are written by Jeff and myself. Yeah, I'm happy to say that uh, Jeff and Pete bring to uh, the table a lot of great lyrical uh, compositions uh, that make up all the Found Cat songs. I uh, pretty much supply the bass line and the uh, backup vocals and uh, they take care of the rest. The song that comes to mind that's most special to me is probably the first, the first song that I wrote, or God wrote I should say, because I don't remember having control of it at all, is uh, You Gotta Believe on the first Found Cat CD. It was the first time I started to write a song about Christianity in the rockabilly vein where it seemed to, something seemed to take control of the pen. And I, then I knew God had a hand in, in this. 
Uh, rockabilly music's funny because if you, uh, you have to have the bug. You gotta get bit by it sometime in your life for it to, and once you hear it, you know you love it. And uh, I grew up on uh, rock and roll music from the, uh, the 50s. My dad had a good record collection and uh, see, you know, Elvis, they had the slap bass player and uh, Carl Perkins and all those bands from the 50s. It's just, that's what rockabilly was. You didn't hear a good rockabilly band without an upright bass. In the 80s, when the video started coming out, you saw the Stray Cats and a couple other bands. You saw the, I saw the guy playing the upright bass and saw the photos. And that was it. That was the coolest thing around. And uh, if you're a rockabilly fan, it, you know it right away. So uh, that's how I got into rockabilly as a kid. And uh, I didn't play upright bass, which is the, if you're in a rockabilly band, you got to play upright bass. You don't see the electric basses uh, in a rockabilly band. So when I graduated college, I got the upright and uh, really started to take rockabilly seriously. <laughs> You feel God calling you. I'm praying, baby. If you only knew what the power of prayer can do. But get rid of that sin. Go to Him and make sure you ask Him, please. You gotta shut that door. Go and pray some more and get down on your knees. When you begin, we'll tell Him everything and make sure you're willing to share. You wanna feel that it's for real? That's the power of prayer. The power of prayer. This is Samantha, and I hope that you're enjoying this faith-filled, wholesome entertainment. Do you know that over 50,000 guests have been through our doors? Do you know that we'd love you to be one of them? If you would like to attend, then simply call us at 631-262-1212, and we'd be happy to send you out a free brochure and a free calendar of events. You can come alone, make a friend, or bring a friend. This place was designed just for you. Let's get back to the show. Enjoy. Like Pete said once, uh, I think the last time we were here, this is uh, this is the Bobcats dress code. This is how we dress every day. This one's called the Armor of God. Oh, Lord! Yeah. Man, I never had a care Well, I never put on much Except my guitar and my hair But now I put on The armor of God Well, I always thought I looked real tough Tattooing cigarette Well, then I put on my big black boots So my feet won't get wet But now I put on the armor of God, the armor of God. Well, it makes me feel secure. Let Satan flee, because I love the Lord. My Bible is my sword, and my shield is in my hand. And it's in the word that I will firmly stand. My leather jacket is my breastplate. Man, that protects my heart, and my heart adores my helmet. I'm going to finish what the devil starts when I put on the armor of God.
car But it makes me feel secure Let's see me flee Because I love the Lord My Bible is my sword And my shield is in my hand And it's in the word That I'm gonna furnish it My leather jacket is my breastplate And that protects my heart And my pompadour and my helmet I'm gonna finish up the devil's starts When I put on The armor of God When I put on The armor of God when I put on the armor of God Thank you I think that in general our music just it, the style of music rockabilly in itself can appeal to any age group uh, we've had young people middle aged older people they all get it they all feel it. Rockabilly is, is, is fun, uplifting music. Rockabilly, uh, I guess, is a form of blues and rhythm and blues and rock and roll, but it has a, uh, like a stripped down kind of feel with just maybe a few drums, a big bass, and a, and a, a hollow body guitar. The great thing about uh, being in the Foundcats is reaching an audience with rockabilly music, uh, which has the lyrics about faith and God. Uh, most people used to describe it as it coming from gospel music back in the 50s and uh, we've never heard of a band playing rockabilly stuff just with gospel lyrics. Uh, the way in which we play together as a band, um, it starts off with Pete and Tom locked in together as a rhythm section. Uh, when we play live, everybody's kind of looking at each other, you know, off to the side. I, can, I may be looking out at the audience, but I can see and feel what the other two guys are doing. It's really inspiring for us and why we do it. We could bring a, the same faith uh, message that a lot of other bands do, but in a unique way. Because it's a new, exciting way for them to hear the message um, that they need to hear and want to hear. I can't tell you how many times over so many years I sat in church on a Sunday morning and thought to myself, I would love to get the opportunity to play the kind of music that I love and feel uh, in a way that makes me happy, but expressing my faith and my, my spiritual beliefs. You combine the music with positive, uplifting lyrics, and the whole experience is just very positive, uplifting. Uh, it's, it's, it's music that you want to keep listening to over and over again. The Found Cat CD Full Gospel Rockabilly is a collection of songs that Jeff and I wrote about our, uh, our experiences with, with our walk with God during the early stages of Christianity, uh, when you first meet God, and you can, you can hear that. Yeah, our CD is filled with uh, uplifting music, with rockabilly, which is uh, nonstop rock and roll with faith-based lyrics, and uh, it's really exciting. The second album that we're working on right now is more uh, it's more intense. It's more about uh, the struggles you have as a Christian living in today's, you know, secular world. It's really an awesome feeling, you know, to know that I'm probably one of the few people in the world that has had the opportunity to really live out a dream. Uh, to be able to play in the band, to be able to play my original compositions for people, and to know that we're giving them content that we can be proud of. We know that we're giving people something good. You know, I go, to, I go to sleep at night feeling great about that. I don't know what direction we're going in. Um, whatever direction the Lord wants us, we'll trust in that. But the main thing is we want to never give up with the music as with our walk with Jesus. Are you tired of hearing about all the bad news in this world? Me too. My name is Samantha and years ago I had a vision to create a heavenly oasis away from all the stress going on in this world. I just kept imagining a place where all ages and all backgrounds could get together and celebrate our differences instead of being divided by them. I started to think of a place where we'd have live inspirational music, squeaky clean comedy, fun, friendship, Bible studies and more. Truly a place that was just filled with joy and hope and peace and a place for miracles. 
It's finally been done, and I'm so glad that you can join us today. So whether you're here with us or you're watching from the comfort of your home, I pray that this time will give you a spiritual faith lift and a closer walk with God. That is my prayer for you. May God richly bless you, and thank you.